Well, we're gonna uh, pop in for a second here to English Kills and see an exhibition by David Papasino titled Will Tartenthal Great so I'm not sure what this is. I guess it's maybe different types of cast resin, plastic. And it looks like David has sort of uh, taken up the image of the Venus of Willemdorf or some other kind of fertility goddesses this kind of uh, toxic resin things is the medium. But David's actually done a pretty good job of selling these. I think they're going for between uh, maybe twelve, fourteen hundred dollars each. And he's got some drawings too. I like those frames. The Mont Cicero skull. It's pen and ink. And uh, also done kind of a nice installation paint job with all the the plaids. It's really into this kind of uh, strange, almost uh, decrepit skin surface on these. It's interesting. Well, we'll take a look at some of the paintings. This is titled Manx Oil and Acrylic on Canvas. Uh, very good as Fakund female figure. And actually a very, uh, very nicely painted uh, plaid pattern. Yeah. This is paleotonic. Daughters of Zeus. And I would estimate that this is probably about uh, six by five feet. This is Bill Stick Black Tick. that circle of plaid. Well, I just noticed that uh, David's got some de Kooning things going on here. That's a nice reference. That's also looks like a de Kooning or maybe a uh, Castle from a Siberian period. <laughs> well, we caught up with the artist, <laughs> David Papasino. That's right. And uh, tell us a little bit about your show. Oh. I understand that you did uh, some business with the sculptures. That's great. 
Well, we'll see. Possible. possible okay. Bits. So tell us, tell us about so. uh, this image, just sort of the uh, the fertility goddess that you've been using. Well, that started with. Um, it sort of arrived from working from other sculptures to do uh, paintings. It's just uh, just imagery. Um, actually, with Rodin, it started with Rodin. But then I wanted to. Um, I wanted to work more from this, more from sculpture to create paintings to get a different sort of like texture within the figures. Yes. And um, and it just took me all the way back. I wanted to do like female nudes, and it took me all the way back to. I said, back let's go the all first. the way back to the first. So that brought me to okay. the Venus of uh, Willendorf. But actually, my favorite is the Venus of uh, Holy Fells. I don't know if you've seen that. It's the most recent. Discovery. This, this is the tiny little piece. They discover, is it carved out of tiny. ivory? It's carved out of yeah, like mammoth tooth maybe. Right. Yeah. Um, I have seen it. Yeah, and so it just began. I wanted to to make just one to paint from, and then, uh, but from from casting that, you know, I made a cast, and then it just sort of the ball started rolling, you know. And, and how about uh, the drawings? You know, I was always uh, interested in sort of the texture of the skin. Is this to sort of simulate? Uh, yeah, something ancient rock like, carvings or something like I, that. Yeah, I think so, but I don't think it's it's that successful in that it's supposed to be rock, but it just turned into something else, like a something different kind strange. of like scarred. Because I kind of wanted it fleshy, but at the same time, I wanted it. I kind of wanted this like like gorgeous ugliness, you know. But I still wanted the form. I still wanted to care about the form and. Uh, now I think the other thing that's kind of interesting is that you're sort of uh, melding these very kind of primitive voluptuous, round, sensual forms against a very kind of geometrical, hard, yeah, straight like a, plaids. Like a tartan, tartan. Yeah, that's kind of a, yeah. an interesting mix. Right. And right. then along with that, you've got the, the resins. The resins, yeah, the resin materials. So you're sort of uh, cherry thought. picking things from 3000 BC to, or yeah. 30,000 BC up to uh, yeah. well, the last earliest, week at the hardware store. Yeah, basically, yeah. Well, even the earliest, the, what I read, the earliest Tarkins were, I think, discovered. I, I think the earliest, like, mummy they found with Tarkin was is about 2,000 years old. So, oh. so it goes way back. But now it's in high culture and it's everywhere. So I just use it for, for my needs. But, like, painting wise, I like. I, I like what it does, uh, like formalistically. Right. But, yes. There is. But a then I kind of create my own kind of narrative with it, also. You know. All right. I just use it for David Papacino. Oh, that's right. That's Congratulations. Right. Thanks, James. What's the title of the show again? Will Tarenthal. Will Tarenthal. Okay. We aren't going to ask you what that <laughs> means. No. I also love the uh, de Kooning references in the back. Yeah. yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> And now we're going to check out the English pop-up show in the garage across the street. I got it. Th thanks, Chris. Wow. Got some big Jim Herbert pieces. Wow, this is a great space. I think this is a Brent Owens piece. It's like uh, routered wood. Andy Pilato. Andy was actually a, uh, a student of uh, Jim Roberts. Who did this small painting over here? That's Lenny Rogers. Oh, these are Lenny's pieces, huh? How about the geometric one here? Kevin Brady. Kevin Brady? Okay. So this is mostly your stuff, right, Don? Yeah, this is all my stuff. Well, 
Don Pablo Pedro. Most of these paintings are done on uh, very light muslin. And what do you think about it? True. True? Really? So Don, what kind of paint are you using here? Is this acrylic that you're painting with? Yeah, it's acrylic uh, thinned down with like a little, like some matte medium. Ah. On like a muslin. I can, I can tell you. So finally, you can... He's also got some of his uh, interesting ceramic pieces here. There's his girlfriend. Well, I'd kind of say that this has got something to do with surrealism. It's kind of a uh, Eastern flavor. This is James Calm reporting on David Papasino's Will Tartenthal at English Kills, the English Kills pop-up show, and the recreation of Don Pablo Pedro's studio. And we're going to keep going with the Bushwick Open Studios Marathon. Come back, folks. Thank you, Kate. <laughs>